When it comes to mixing audio in Reason, there can be nothing more important than the Mighty Console. And as you can see, it's pretty impressive, it's pretty extensive, and it's actually modelled on an SSL console. So the sound of it is also excellent. Now, if you're new to Reason, or if you're coming from an earlier version of Reason, the console might look pretty intimidating, but in reality, it's very simple. It's just that there are a lot of channels in this project for a start, and also there's quite a lot of replicated controls going up and down the mixer. So let's take a look at a couple of things that are going to make it easier for you to navigate around such a large console. First of all, you need to think of it as single channel strips as opposed to just loads and loads of knobs and faders. So really just look at one channel. So let's just select this one here. So at the top, we've got our gain and our gain structure, which is very simple, just the amount of gain coming into the signal path. Then we've got dynamics, which is a compressor and a gate. Then we've got high and low pass filtering. And then we've got an EQ, which is essentially a four band parametric EQ. And then we've got our insert controls. These are used when we insert effects into the rack. Some of the key controls will be made available in these hotkeys and these quick access knobs. And then you can also load insert settings here. And then we've got eight sends which are basically work with send return effects, which we're going to be looking at later. And then we've got our fader area here, which has got our pan control. It's got a stereo width, mute solo and level, and obviously our level meter. We can quickly access any of the things that are being used here in the sequencer or the rack by pressing these shortcut buttons here. I'm just going to go straight back to the mixer in full view. And then right at the end of all of this, and remember, these are just the same thing, just repeated. We've got our master area. We're going to be looking at the master area later, so I'm not going to go through that in detail now. So to navigate around the mixer, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You've seen me scrolling around. I'm using a trackpad, so I'm just scrolling up and down. But if you want to quickly navigate in an area, you can see here to the right, you've got this viewer window. And this blue square in the viewer window actually shows you what you're looking at currently. And you can just move this around. So if you want to quickly look at your EQ or the effects, you can just click on any one of these areas and it'll quickly show you these immediately. But if you want to maybe tidy things up a little bit, let's say you're not using the sends and you're not using the insert controls. And let's say you've already set your gain so that doesn't have to be there. And you'd really just for the minute want to look at your dynamics. You can just double click all the areas you don't want to see. And immediately you've just got this focused area that you're working on. And if you want to, you can close those down. You can even close the faders down and then you can just open whichever area up that you want. So let's say you just want to work on the EQ. There it is. Now, when it comes to the faders, these can also be moved around really easily. So if you grab them, you'll see they're highlighted red. It shows you their current position and you can just move them anywhere in the mixer. So if you want to re-audio tracks, so let's say you want to have all your drums at the beginning and then your bass, this can easily be achieved. You can even select more than one using shift and move all of them at once. Also, if we right click or two finger click on a trackpad, you can see some extra controls here. For instance, channel color here will allow you to change the channel color surprisingly. And you can change multiple channel colors at once again by hitting shift, going to channel color and then selecting red for instance. And you can see these have all changed to red. And by double clicking down here, we can also change the name. So you can see that we can organize things really quickly. We can view parts of the mixer really quickly. And we can also navigate around using this bar at the end or indeed a trackpad or a mouse scroll ball. Once you've finished, you can even fold the mixer away to half measures or you can fold it away completely by clicking the icon up here. Now you'll notice that when we move to the rack, there are actually dedicated devices for each mix channel. These are actually connected to the mix channels on the console, but there are a couple of differences. And that's what we're going to look at in the next video, the mix channel devices.